The thief is the worst thing. His hand should be chopped. Her hand should be chopped off. His or her hand should be. That's the way I feel about somebody taking something from somebody that ain't dead. Look at the breakup of Beyonce and Jay Z. Uh -huh. Jay Z can go for a cute little backup dancer, some Karuche dumb bitch. Beyonce has to replace Jay Z with only one man. They're probably Kanye. No one can compete at that level of status with Jay. So Beyonce's success, she's a victim of it. And I'm stealing this from Myron, but he never uses this example anymore. Beyonce being at the top of the pyramid made her, she's stuck with Jay-Z. She can only have him or downgrade immensely, which women don't downgrade. The end game is Jay-Z, Puff Daddy. Correct. 50 Cent. They had an end game. Jay-Z came in with an end game. Same thing with Puff Daddy, same thing with 50 Cent. Beyonce has finally reacted to Jay-Z's potential arrest after he was linked with Diddy and his notorious activities. In a dramatic twist that has captivated fans and observers worldwide, Jay-Z finds himself in the midst of controversy after being linked with Diddy and his shady activities, leading to speculation about a potential arrest. Jay-Z might be facing an extended period away from home. Recent police scrutiny into Diddy's affairs has implicated Jay-Z as an alleged accomplice in some wild escapades. Reports suggest that Jay-Z is now in police custody, adding a concern concerning twist to the ongoing investigation. Stay tuned till the end to learn more about Jay-Z's apprehension in connection to Diddy's controversial activities. Jay-Z openly revealed his liaison with Diddy, while Beyonce, a consistent powerhouse in her professional endeavors, faced personal challenges when her marriage with Jay-Z encountered rough patches. Their union, once considered flawless, came under intense scrutiny amid swirling rumors of infidelity. Jay-Z, in a candid interview, confessed to straying from the marital path, attributing his actions to lingering childhood issues. The cracks and their seemingly perfect facade began to show in 2014, coinciding with speculations of infidelity. Beyonce's impactful album, Lemonade, appeared to validate the rumors, prompting Jay-Z to finally confront the truth behind the reports. Um, and in this book, I talk about how Beyonce has indoctrinated so many modern day women to think that they can replace their man, to be single, be independent, be strong, whatever. But when push came to shove and Jay-Z cheated on her, her ass stayed put right there. Why? Because Jay-Z's a billionaire? He's successful, he has more status than she does. And here's the problem, Beyonce has status too, but how many men are going to uh, rise up to Beyonce's level? Like Jason. Thank you. Yeah. So here's the reality. Women date across and above. Men date down and up. She can't replace Jay-Z to the same level that Jay-Z can replace her because men don't have the same amount of standards. In a candid conversation with the New York Times Styles magazine, Jay-Z opened up about how his upbringing instilled in him the habit of building emotional walls. These barriers, he revealed, led him to withdraw and engage in infidelity. Reflecting on the repercussions of his actions, he expressed the profound difficulty of witnessing the pain he caused others and then having to grapple with it himself. Survival instincts, he explained, often kick in, prompting one to shut down emotionally. This self-preservation mode, he emphasized, affects all aspects of life, including relationships with women, making genuine connections challenging. For Jay-Z, these issues run deep, contributing to the complexities that led to instances of infidelity. Jay-Z delved deeper into the revelation of his infidelity, recounting the moment it occurred during a night of revelry with Diddy. Stressing their long-standing friendship, Jay-Z revealed how their shared history included numerous gatherings where women were introduced, leading to wild escapades captured on video and streamed on his title platform. In a candid short documentary accompanying his album 4 to 4, 44, Jay-Z openly confronted the trials within his relationship with Beyonce. What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they living separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. In the documentary, Jay-Z, who exchanged vows with Beyonce back in 2008, openly reflects on the trials of navigating a committed relationship. He candidly admits that addressing potential conflicts within his partnership and actively seeking resolutions have proven to be some of the toughest challenges he's ever encountered. Titled The 4 to 44 Footnotes, the documentary delves into various aspects of relationships, featuring insightful discussions with notable figures like Chris Rock, Will Smith, Kendrick Lamar, 
Chris Paul, Jesse Williams, and Meek Mill. Jay-Z shares a personal revelation stating, this is my real life. I just stumbled into this situation and together we constructed this magnificent relationship, but it wasn't entirely founded on absolute truth. Eventually, cracks began to appear. He elaborates on the journey, explaining the necessity to deconstruct and rebuild their connection from the ground up. It's the most arduous task I've ever undertaken, he admits. However, it's important to ensure accuracy in reporting. The mention of Jay-Z and Diddy abusing a 17-year-old on a private jet is unsubstantiated and should be omitted unless confirmed by reliable sources. Diddy and two of his cohorts are facing serious allegations of mistreatment in a recently filed lawsuit, which came with a trigger warning due to its sensitive content. The 14-page complaint was lodged by an individual known as Jane Doe against Diddy, former bad boy president Harve Pierre, and Jay-Z in the Southern District of New York. The plaintiff has requested a jury trial for this matter. Interestingly, this isn't the first legal entanglement for Diddy. It marks the fourth known lawsuit since singer Cat Cassie, Diddy's ex, accused him of physical mistreatment in a suit filed on November 16th, although it was swiftly settled the following day. In her complaint, Jane Doe alleges that Diddy, Pierre, and Jay-Z trafficked her back in 2003 when she was just a 17-year-old high school junior. According to Jane Doe, Pierre, who is also a singer, was accompanied by Jay-Z and others when he approached her and her friends at a lounge in Detroit. While they were still at the lounge, Pierre allegedly told the adolescent that Diddy would love to meet her and persuaded her to take a private plane with him to New York City. Jane Doe claimed claimed that Pierre had led her into the bathroom where he had given her large amounts of cocaine and made her have an oral with him. Pierre then told her to board a private jet to Daddy's House Recording Studio in New York City, which is owned by Diddy. During her flight, she was allegedly given large amounts of drugs and alcohol, which caused her to lose consciousness. The 17-year-old Doe eventually grew so drunk throughout the course of the evening that she was incapable of having consented to having any relations with anyone. Beyonce's sibling confronts Jay-Z regarding bizarre encounters with Diddy. After the Met Gala, Jay-Z found him himself in a lift at the Standard Hotel in New York City with his wife Beyonce and her sister Solange. Jay-Z and Solange spoke after the celebration, and soon after, things turned physical. Jay-Z made an unsuccessful attempt to defuse the situation and comfort his sister-in-law. Solange landed a series of punches before a bodyguard intervened to restrain her, while Beyoncé silently observed the escalating situation. The bodyguard halted the elevator to contain the altercation, during which Solange even used her purse to strike Jay-Z, causing its contents to spill out. As the elevator doors finally opened, Jay-Z tried to stop further attacks by grabbing Solange's arm, but she continued to resist. Solange appeared unperturbed as she strode towards the hotel entrance, trailed closely by the carters. Beyoncé and Solange slipped into one car, while Jay-Z took another vehicle. A week later, TMZ aired footage of the family feud, sourced from a rogue security guard who was promptly dismissed after an inquiry. Allegedly, the altercation stemmed from Beyonce and Solange, observing Jay-Z getting too close to fashion designer Rachel Roy, with whom Jay-Z had an affair. The most important thing is that our family has overcome it, declared the Carters, in a joint statement issued the day after the video's release. They added, Jay and Solange have each taken ownership of their respective roles in the unfolding of this private matter that has been thrust into the public eye. Both have expressed genuine remorse and offered a apologies to one another. As a united family, we have collectively decided to move forward. The statement concludes by acknowledging that every family faces challenges, and there is no exception. They added, despite it all, our love for each other remains steadfast, emphasizing that above all, we are family. We have chosen to leave this episode behind us and hope that others will do the same. After the unexpected elevator episode, Beyonce amazed her audience by dropping her Lemonade album in 2016. Tracks such as Hold Up and Sorry subtly alluded to personal struggles within her family. On the other hand, it appears that Diddy is breaching the sacred trust among friends and revealing Jay-Z's involvement in criminal activities. Rumors have long circulated suggesting Jay-Z's less than honorable conduct, despite his public image. Now it seems Diddy might be turning on Jay-Z to save himself from impending legal trouble. Diddy's recent run-ins with the law, including a raid on his homes in Los Angeles and Miami, resulting in the detainment of his sons and assistants, have heightened his desperation to evade punishment. Allegedly, he's cooperating with authorities, implicating Jay-Z in hopes of lessening his own sentence. Reported Diddy is said to be providing Homeland Security with evidence implicating Jay-Z as the mastermind behind his criminal activities aiming to secure a reduced sentence. The entertainment industry is poised for a significant shakeup as Diddy seems unwilling to face his legal troubles alone. But several lawsuits filed late last year raised allegations of sexual assault and rape against Combs, one of hip-hop's most recognizable names as a performer and producer. 
The music mogul's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were searched Monday by federal agents with Homeland Security investigators and other law enforcement. Allegedly cooperating extensively with authorities, he hopes to evade imprisonment by offering substantial information on various individuals. His actions reflect a desperate bid for leniency as he navigates the precarious legal landscape. It's surprising how many people overlook the fact that Homeland Security investigations aren't swift actions that just popped up a few days or weeks ago. Unlike local law enforcement, federal agencies operate with a different pace and precision. This isn't to discredit the police, but it's widely acknowledged that federal investigations are more meticulous. It often takes months, if not years, for them to methodically gather evidence and build a solid case of significant proportions. They only act when they are absolutely certain, ensuring every detail is thoroughly examined. This approach is why their conviction rate exceeds 95%. Admittedly, some cases don't even reach trial because the accused opts for a plea deal. Nonetheless, justice is served, whether through convictions or cooperation, leading to the capture of other criminals. In Diddy's situation, it's not just Homeland Security keeping an eye on him. The FBI has been trailing him for over a decade, particularly concerning long-standing rumors dating back to the 90s, suggesting an inappropriate interest in underage boys. These whispers have prompted federal scrutiny, including a 2013 interrogation of James Roseman, a notorious figure with connections to numerous celebrities. During the debriefing, Roseman, once a music manager turned cocaine kingpin, was probed about the alleged sexual proclivities of entertainers including inquiries into whether Sean Diddy Combs was engaging in illicit relationships with minors. In a recent filing with the U.S. District Court, a prosecutor delved into the private preferences of certain celebrities, notably mentioning Sean Combs' purported relationships with underage individuals. It's important to understand that the FBI doesn't operate on the basis of social media conjectures or TikTok rumors. If the FBI was probing allegations concerning Diddy, it's a strong indication that they possessed substantial intelligence and were actively seeking concrete evidence. This underscores the fact that federal authorities have been meticulously compiling a case against Diddy for over a decade. The prolonged investigation demonstrates their commitment to thoroughly scrutinizing Diddy's activities and gathering conclusive evidence. It's hardly a shocker that they're finally bringing their case against him to light now, given that he's faced lawsuits from five individuals in under half a year, all echoing similar accusations. Cassie, the initial whistleblower, dared to unveil the truth about Diddy, lifting the veil on his true nature behind closed doors. According to her, what she witnessed was far from pretty. She recounted counted instances where Diddy subjected her to physical mistreatment throughout their relationship, leaving her body marred with bruises. She further alleged that he repeatedly disregarded her consent, coercing her into unwanted encounters. And if that weren't appalling enough, she claimed he even exploited her by arranging liaisons with male escorts, all while watching and recording the encounters. But the horror didn't end there. Reports suggest Diddy allegedly shared these recordings with associates in the industry. 50 Cent was among the first to publicly condemn Diddy's actions, accusing him of spreading the footage in an attempt to shame Cassie after she ended their relationship. Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, what, well, yeah, 16, 17 grams since he's been with Beyonce, right? And, and you go prior to that, one. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that came in association, like like you see the, the kids even have grams. It's like, they don't, they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> <laughs> and they already have Grammys and shit. So it's like they give this, they give them this trophy so, so we secure that they're coming mm. to the award show. It meant that much to the culture that they just gave them the things that- Based on his account, it seems the videos were captured during the distressing situations Diddy coerced her into, but the situation escalated further. According to 50, upon informing Diddy about the situation, Diddy's response indicated that he was the one behind circulating the videos. If Diddy was sending compromising videos of Cassie to 50, his longtime rival, one can only speculate about the content he shared with those closest to him. Besides Cassie, three other women have bravely come forward, accusing Diddy of despicable acts. What's consistent among their stories is the disturbing allegation that he allegedly drugged and took advantage of them while they were incapacitated, which is utterly reprehensible behavior. At long last, music producer Lil Rod has come forward with startling accusations against Diddy, alleging mistreatment during their collaboration on Diddy's latest album. Lil Rod claims Diddy's behavior crossed boundaries, describing inappropriate touching and suggestive actions. For security reasons, my family, friends, and anyone close to me it just feels like there's a lot of potential threats and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of and, you know, it's very scary um, for myself and, you know, it has me worried about my kids and, you know, just sleeping with anxiety and, and different things like that. So just moving forward, um, just want to pause on everything until we know that it's, it's, it's clear and safe for 
for you to come back outside of work. Furthermore, Lil Rod alleges witnessing concerning behavior at Diddy's Miami residence, including the presence of underage individuals at wild parties. Shockingly, Lil Rod asserts that Diddy's son, Justin, facilitated the recruitment of young girls for these gatherings, despite their age. The situation reached a boiling point with recent federal raids on Diddy's properties in LA and Miami, suggesting authorities have gathered significant evidence. In a string of synchronized operations, the coordinated nature of the raids provided a clear indication of the gravity of the situation. It became evident that the authorities were aware of the potential for evidence concealment, prompting simultaneous strikes. Notably, Diddy was absent during the raid, yet his sons Justin and Christian were present and subsequently detained by federal agents. The thorough search of his residences resulted in a tumultuous scene, captured and circulated on various online platforms. Recent reports indicate that Diddy's private jet was discovered in the Caribbean, sparking speculation that he might have fled to Antigua to evade authorities. TMZ's investigations revealed that Diddy's renowned Love Air LLC jet, a sleek Gulfstream 5, typically associated with the music mogul, is currently stationed on the ground in Antigua. According to TMZ's analysis of flight data, the jet has been shuttling back and forth between various locations in California. It departed from Sacramento Executive Airport on Sunday evening, made a brief stop at Palm Springs International Airport, and then landed at Van Nuys Airport in the LA area. These movements have fueled rumors about Diddy's whereabouts and intentions, with many wondering if he's attempting to avoid legal scrutiny. On the dawn of Monday, the sleek jet soared from the bustling runways of Vans Airport, its destination seemingly set for the picturesque shores of Antigua. However, fate had other plans, as this anticipated landing turned out to be not but a mere mirage. Instead, whispers emerged from the bustling halls of Miami International Airport, where the enigmatic figure of Diddy was spotted, his countenance marred by unmistakable distress and deep turmoil. And now, we have the latest footage of Diddy spotted in Miami. Thursday, the Bad Boy Records founder has been spotted out with friends and family here in South Florida. Down here at, at Pura Vida by my pad, run into the man right here. Love. What's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. With everything happening, one would expect Diddy to be in cuffs by now, right? I mean, if TMZ can track his whereabouts, surely law enforcement can too. But alas, it's not that simple. Diddy continues to roam freely while those around him face consequences. His sons, his assistants, and even his supposed drug supplier are all behind bars. So why hasn't Diddy been apprehended yet? It's a baffling question. According to recent reports, it appears that federal authorities are leveraging Diddy's involvement to ensnare even more significant players. This entire situation seems to transcend Diddy himself, as he's merely a minor figure in a much larger scheme. Recall my earlier mention of the Federal's impressive conviction rate, largely due to suspects striking plea deals and cooperating. This pattern seems evident here, as there are purported pressures on Diddy to cooperate, potentially implicating others in return for leniency for himself and his son. One prominent name allegedly on their radar is Jay-Z. Diddy is reportedly more than willing to report Jay and expose him for his alleged involvement in the trafficking ring. This is an interesting development given that there have been rumors about Jay-Z, allegedly being involved in this kind of activity. You may recall that he and Foxy Brown had an alleged affair when she was 15 years old and he was in his mid-20s. Some sources even go so far as to say that he gave her an STD and allowed his then-best friend R. Kelly to marry Aaliyah before she turned 18 or the other shady things he's been accused of. So it's not unexpected that the federal authorities are viewing Jay-Z suspiciously. Jaguar also correctly predicted that this would happen with Jay-Z following Diddy's lawsuit against Cassie. Jaguar R. publicly stated that Jay-Z was purportedly the mastermind behind Diddy's scheme, but that Jay-Z was undoubtedly more cunning and cautious than Diddy. It appears her intuition was spot on, as Diddy seems poised to spill the beans on anyone to secure his own freedom. The unfolding drama is nothing short of intense. If Jay-Z truly has a hand in this, as rumors suggest, it's just the beginning. The revelation of Diddy's willingness to cooperate isn't as surprising to fans anymore. Comments are flooding in, with some retracing steps and piecing together connections between Jay-Z, P. Diddy, R. Kelly, Aaliyah, and other names. Overall, the saga surrounding Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Diddy unravels layers of complex relationships, legal battles, and personal challenges that resonate far beyond their celebrity status, impacting the wider music industry and its audience. This tumultuous period in their lives highlights not only the personal struggles faced by these iconic figures, but also the intricate dynamics of power, loyalty, and the quest for redemption within the glitzy yet unforgiving world of entertainment. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.